The message today is winning with love. Winning with love. The word winning simply means to be successful or victorious in a contest or competition. Winning means to be successful or victorious in a contest or competition. And everybody wants to win. Who loves to lose? Is anybody loves to lose? Now, the word love, love is strong affection. Strong what? From the heart for another. Love is strong affection from the heart for another. Winning with love means becoming successful by having strong and sincere affection in your heart for others. The truth is, by redemption, you and I are to win. So I win. Say it one more time. First John 5, 4. Winning is your birthright. It's supposed to flow in your bloodline. You will never lose after today in the name of Jesus. Amen. But thanks be unto God, which giveth us victory to our Lord, who? Jesus Christ. First Corinthians 15, verse 57. In 2 Corinthians 2, verse 14, he said, Now thanks be unto God, which always caused us to triumph in Christ. The battles of life, you can't win them alone without God. He said, I'm divinely award. He said, without me, you can do nothing. John 15, verse 5. By strength shall no man prevail. So to win, you need God. In the book of Psalm, verse 60, 11 and 12, the GNT version said, help us against the enemy. Human help is worthless. With God on our side, we will win. With God on our side, what? He will defeat our enemies. When God is with you, you can fight battles without struggling. And the next thing about your life, you won't kill yourself yet, you'll be the winner. Yeah. Now, there's a spiritual force that empowers us for winning. That's where I'm going. That force is called the force of love. Force of what? The force of love. And you know why it empowers you to win? I'm going to share his deep secret. Of all the forces, love is the strongest. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13, the new King James said, And now by that faith, hope, love. This three, but the greatest of these is love. Why is love the strongest of all forces? Yeah, this is the reason. God is not miracle. He's a miracle working God. God is not faith. It responds to our faith. God is not science and wonders. It's only sign working God. God is not word of knowledge. But God is love. First John 4, 8. God is love. So when I walk in love, I carry the nature of God. Because two cannot walk together except they be agreed. So when a man walks in love, he does not struggle to manifest the nature of God. So here. That's why people who walk in love don't struggle for miracles. The embodiment of miracles. You can know everything about me if you don't understand how I love, you've not known anything about me. Instead of everything, you can be a faith giant, I'll be a gallant failure because without love, faith will not work. It's a faith work it by love. Galatians 5 6. So your strong faith without love is impotent. No matter how hefty a man, which day will he have a child without a woman? Is it possible? So love is the companion for everything to walk. Because that's God's nature. That's God's what? Once you don't walk in love, God walks out of you. Walking in love is walking in God. 
Now you have the word God said here. In first John chapter 4, verse 16. He said, And we have known and believed the love that God has for us. God is who? Love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. So when I walk in love, I carry the nature of God. I'm God's personified. You can never carry the love nature and be a loser. You will never lose in life. Amen. Say amen to that. Amen. And the foundation of Christianity is love. What makes Christianity special is what? Love. Take away love, there's no Christianity. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that we say I believe in each other, what? Where is Christianity if there is no love? Christianity will be reduced to a mere religion if you take away love. In 1 Corinthians 13, 1 to 3, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become a sounding brass and a clean what? And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, but I have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I have my body to be born, but I have not love, it profits me nothing. Take away love, you are useless. And if the foundation be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? Psalm 11 verse 3. What distinguishes you is love. Is what? Love. Now, what we talk about love is different from the worldly love. There are different kinds of love. We have human love, God's kind of love, which is called the agape love. We have all manner of love. The love that is for today too. That some people love is only for today after today. The love for February 14th is one day love. And there's God's kind of love. There's everyday love. There's all manner of love. There's telephone love. That's what? But the kind of love we're talking about is God's kind of love. Let me share something with you from the book of Matthew 2 so that you understand where I'm coming from. How do I know I love? Now, in Matthew chapter 22, and I'll read from verse 36. Master, he said, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? A wrong ruler came to Jesus. Jesus said to him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. With what? With all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first great commandment. This is the first and great one. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So their love has to go two dimensions, to God and to what? To man. There are people who love God, they don't love people. And there are people who love people, they don't love God. The two must be balanced. You cannot say you love if you don't love the two sections. You must love God and you must love people. Any love that is one-sided is not complete. God knows I love him and he don't love people. It's not complete. And if you love people and you don't love God, it's not also complete. They must be balanced. But God comes what? First. Don't buy for any woman today what you have never given to God. Otherwise, you'll be in trouble. So that's what I'm saying. Don't give any man any gift you have never given to God. Don't go and buy a jewelry of $5,000 when your offering is $1,000. You're insulting God. You don't understand love. Whatever you're giving somebody today, the one for God must be higher. Not even your wife should you buy a gift higher than what you give to God. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God is the first. Human is second. Man comes second. Man does not come first. That's why I understand love. Buy gift, but ask yourself, this thing I'm buying, have I ever given such quality of thing to God before? If you have not given, don't put yourself into trouble. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God. This is the first, number one. Then man comes what? Number two. So I hear. Understand the Bible. Never do for any man what you have never done for God. Hmm? So what is love for God? What is love for God? Love for God is having God at the center of your heart. It is putting God first above all others, including yourself. Including what? Yourself. In Luke chapter 14, 25 to 27, 
The GNT translation, let me read the GNT said. Once when large crowds of people were going along with Jesus, he turned and said to them, those who come to me cannot be my disciples unless they love me more than the love father, mother, wife, children, brothers and sisters and themselves as well. Did you hear that? <laughs> Those who do not carry their own cross and come after me cannot be my disciples. So if you say I love God, it means no matter who, he comes what? He comes first. A kingdom priority life start. Kingdom what? A kingdom priority life start. Identifying with Christ openly, publicly, continually, you are not ashamed of it. You are sold out to God for you to stand out. You make God your first choice in everything you do. May that be your portion. How do I know I love? What are the proofs of love? Because I can just come and say, I love you. Love. How do I know? You know, in the Western world, today if you carry a flower, ooh, they say, glory, he loves me. Flower. He tried that in Africa. <laughs> he said, do you know that all that this man came to see me is with flower? <laughs> flower. If you give a woman flower, she'll cry. Do you know my husband loves me? Flower. Give your wife flower in Africa. Stingy man. Stingy <laughs> man. Stingy. Do you know this man went to a supermarket? All he could see was flower. That's why you must understand the environment too. Don't buy, buy flower in Africa. She will tell all her friends, that man is stingy, that husband. In hand is a tight flower. But if you give her your wife a flower, she will cry. She say, he loves me. Do you know he loves me? Flower. <laughs> so let's know what that is flower love for. What is what? Let's know what. What are the proofs? <laughs> it's not true. Eh? How many of you bought flower today in Africa? Yeah. You didn't even remember flower. Flower? Where you didn't buy flower? Don't deceive yourself. Didn't buy flower. Carry flower. Go and give anybody. They will never respect you. They will just say flower. But you know you bought. They will keep it at the back of their hands like this. They say, guess what I brought for you? They put it at the back. And then they went to my sister and say, oh, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, yeah. Can I flower show your wife? Say, my husband, welcome. Let us. house. <laughs> <laughs> so let's know what kind of... <laughs> what kind of love? <laughs> because love is expressed through actions. Through what? Do you know the Bible said in 1 John 3, verse 18, it said, my little children... Let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Any love that is not proved is fake. He said, let us not love in word. Don't tell someone, I love you, I love you. No, 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 show your love. Let us not love in word. He said, let love be demonstrated. So love has proofs. Love has what? If you don't see these proofs, then there's no love. Love has proofs. When God so loved the world, did he prove it? Yes, he didn't just come and say, hey, you know I love you, I love you. Did God say so? He proved his love. Any love that is not proved is what? Fake. Why is it about one proof of love? You must love people. You must what? You must love people. Number one, you must love what? You cannot claim to love God and not love people. A man that heart is stony, no compassion, has no love for people. God is a lover of people. Even if there was one person on earth, Christ would have come down to die. You know, I'm not blaming my trouble. Even when I correct you, you know I correct you with love. My level of love, you can't describe my love level. 
I don't preach love, I live love. I love people with everything on my inside. You've heard me say, I've given over one billion naira for scholarship when I don't have a house yet in my father's village. I have joy in my heart when somebody says I go to school. But hear this and hear me well. How many of you love people? A lot of people. First John 4, 11 and 12. Shall we read together one to go? Beloved, if God so love us, we ought to also what? No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwells in us and his love is perfect in us. First John 4, 20, 21. If a man say, I love God and he hated his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he had not seen? And this commandment I have we from him that he who loveth God love his brother also. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Now this is how you know you love people. I will tell you the signs of how you know you love people. If you love people, number one, you easily forgive. Is the what? Anybody you find difficult to forgive, the problem is you don't love the person. Love forgives. Love for what? Love forgives. B, love gives. Love does what? Love gives. This is how you know you love people. Love gives. For God so loved the world, he gave. Anybody you struggle to give to, it's not because you don't have, it's because you don't love. There's no point forcing a man to give me something who is grumbling because he never loved me. Whom you love, you don't struggle to give to. The first sign of a pastor who does not love his pastor, he will never give to him an offering. If you see any pastor walking, or a worker walking with you, struggling to give to you, they never loved you. One of the proofs of a person who loves you. A person you love, you don't struggle to give to the person. Check yourself. Whom you love, even if you don't have, the little you have, you want to share. Have you ever noticed it? If somebody comes and you love the person, even if you're eating, say, join me to eat. It may not be much. But who you don't love, you struggle to give to the person. Any person that struggles to give to you never loves you. So if you see a pastor struggling to give to you, he never loves you. If you see a young man who say he wants to marry you, he can't give to you, he never loves you. If you see a woman never give to you, she never loves you. Whom you love, you find it easy to give. For God so loved the world because he loves us, it was easy for him to give his best. If somebody is struggling to buy a gift for you, he never, she never loves you. Oh! Are you hearing what I'm saying here? I love to give to people. I don't struggle to give to people. Mm -mm. If you see your wife not giving you something, it's not because she forgot. She never loves you. She married you for just husband's sake. And if your husband too does not give to you, just know he never loved you. He didn't forget. Whom you love, you give. Whom you love, you don't struggle to give. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Huh? Do you know love does not think evil, speak evil, talk evil of the next person? Love does not think evil, talk evil, or what? Of the next person. The Bible in Proverbs 10 and verse 12, the people have hatred, chariot of stripes, but love covereth all sins. Now listen carefully. I'm going to tell you deep thing there. When the Bible says love covereth all sins. Listen, I'm going to explain to you today. Do you know when you love somebody, you shield the person? It's not saying you are condoning sin. That's not what the Bible is saying. It says because of the love you have, you don't allow the person. If a man always talk about his wife's weakness in public, he never loved the wife. If a wife always talks about the weakness of her husband in public, she never loves her husband. 
Love shields the person. It doesn't mean you control sin. Don't misunderstand the Bible. You will help the person, but you don't expose the person to the world. Your wife doesn't know how to cook. You don't go outside and announce it. That the kind of woman married, she can't cook. He never loved her. You will rather bring somebody to teach her how to cook. My wife does not give my children anything. You never loved her. Don't mind my wife. She never cleans. So that is, who is your wife? It's, it's not you. You shield the person. That's what love is. Any man that goes outside to shout about his wife, he never understood the meaning of love. Any woman that goes outside... Don't mind my husband, useless. You never understood love. And anybody that comes to tell you of the spouse, be careful. Tell her mom, dad, friend, relation, you don't understand what love is. I'm not the best ear to hear what you are saying. You don't talk about who you love to somebody. If anybody comes to discuss me with you, he never loved me. Tell him, we're in the same church, we don't love our pastor. This is your talking. Can you say it before him? Anything somebody cannot say before somebody, don't say it at the back. Never. When you say Lord, he covered. No matter what anybody around me does, even pastors, I will shield you first before I rebuke you. If you ask anybody working with me, I first of all shield you. I'll make sure I defend you. Then I can call you back and say, hey, hey, you made a mistake here. But I will never at that point open to the world. No, you don't do that. That's why you say love cover it. It covers sins. Even while we are yet sinners, Christ died for us. Because he loved us. Because he did what? While we were yet in the midst of mistakes, he shielded us. He did allow us to be victims of the devil. Brother, a day where you want to win in love, learn the real true meaning of love. You're shouting about your wife to the public. You're shouting about your husband to the public. You don't understand what love is. I was talking to a young man. I said, calm down. Have a personal revelation. I was talking to a young man. I said, calm down. I was talking. You don't understand where I was coming from. I was coming from a deep revelation. I said, understand. This thing you're shouting about is not an issue. You can handle it if you can get the wisdom I have. Settle down is not an issue at all. He was, I says, calm down. Calm down. You don't understand what love is. You can win the most wicked man with love. Show him love. The man will turn. Do you know even men, when they are very rough, I've seen a man who drinks, life story in this church, drinks. Before he became born again, he, he would drink. Drink. And come back and say, pack out. Pack out. Pack out. Nonsense church. Pack out. The woman who gone and he said, Lord, deliver my husband. He said, what made him to be born again was one day he came back. The wife was praying for him to succeed in business. She didn't know. He said, Lord, bless my husband. Don't allow him to lose this business. He he said he had the prayer. He said, this woman pray for me. With all this my life. That was the day he posted in tears and followed her to church. He said, let me go to that church. But you know the ones who don't love? Father, Father, let him die. Let him die. Let him die. Die, na, 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 na. Kill him. Since all the morning, and that woman, they follow. He's not born again. If you were born again, they follow another woman. Then he, he's not born again. What do you want him to follow? He's not born again. So you don't have to condemn him. First, show him love. Father, kill him. Kill him. Kill him. That girl who is eating his money with him, let them die in accident. Who? They will be the father of your children. If he's dead, who will now become the father of your children? He's not born again. Show him Love can win the war sinner. Say, love cover it. It doesn't condone sin. Understand Bible? It's not that you condone sin, but you shield the person and help the person. You don't expose the person's weakness to the world. 
When you are talking about your husband or wife, you should know that other people too have seen things in their houses you didn't hear about. Huh? You say your wife does not know how to cook. Teach her to cook now. You that the man that you know how to cook. Well, teach your wife. After all, acquired by men, they know how to cook. Through? Teach your wife. Teach your wife how to cook. Do you know why God keeps the woman on the left hand side of the man? Every time you move, they say, let your wife be on the left. Have you ever? Eh? If you see husband and wife moving, the woman is where? On the left. Why is she not on the right? I'll tell you why. Why is the woman on the left? They say, your wife should be on your left side. The reason is this. The reason why the woman is on your left is because the strength of a man is his right hand. And right hand means a place of authority. Right hand means what? So God is saying, hold your wife and use your authority to defend her. To strike your wife. Stand as a man and say, no! Even if my wife makes a mistake, even when I know it's a mistake, I first shield her. Then I can come back and say, this is a mistake. But you say, yes, yes, I've told my wife every time she has, I've told her she can never hear, just want to hear something. You know they hear anything while they talk, nothing. Tango, make them kill her, make them come kill killer. <laughs> you shield her first. Say, so this thing you did is wrong. That's what love is. You shield the person with your right hand as a man. And then you come back home and say, you are wrong. He said, no, no, go, go and die. Since you will not hear what I talk, go, go, may they kill you. Ah. The thing you are shouting about, people have seen things worse than that. Love changes people. Both man and woman. It's both sides. There are men who change because of love. And there are women who change because of love. There's nothing love cannot turn. Love made you now, you came to Christ. True? Glory to God. May the true meaning of love reflect in our lives. Amen. Will you say a better amen? amen? Look at how the Amplified put it. But love covers and overwhelms all transgressions, forgiving and overlooking another's faults. You can't be Mr. Perfect. She can't be Mrs. Perfect. You overlook something. When a man starts telling you, my wife, my wife, you are seeing another girl. There is somebody who is telling him, Scratching said, if she go, I go marry. If she go, I go marry. If she go, I go. Don't push another woman to enter house. Oh. You to marry. Don't push anybody to enter another house. This woman, this woman, this woman, this woman, this man, this man. When you hear woman, this man, make him go. I am. There's somebody telling her, if he goes, I'm there now. No, no, calm down, calm down. The rapper you're calling old. The new land is when he stayed three years. You're going to say the old two. <laughs> now they shine. Wala, 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 wala. But they tie them, tie them, tie them, tie them, tie them. They're bitter, so bitter. You're going to say, the old lady say, that new thing, they check you. <laughs> when you come inside house, you go show you. <laughs> old pot say, they call me black. You're calling me black, then I'm black pot. Stay small on fire. You know that you two can be black. <laughs> Woo! You understand love is now? So love is not only February 14. Love is what I'm talking mm. You will really love from now? Will you love from now? Love forgives. Love gives. Love does not think evil, talk evil about other persons. True? Never. Anywhere if somebody discusses you negatively, he never loves you. No, love is not preaching. Never talk ill of somebody you love. Never. Never talk ill of somebody you love. So I hear. Number two. Let me ask you something. You love anybody? Love your pastor, your friend, anybody? So what is the gift you have? You say you love. For God so loved the world. You give. And you love somebody you are not having to give. Struggle to give. Get the revelation of love. Love gives. Love does what? It gives. When your husband forget to give you gift, it's not that he forgot. Love is no more there. When your wife says, I forgot my husband. Hey! I forgot. It's a lie. Her attention has shifted. She's no longer loving you. If somebody cannot give you gift, Gift has nothing to do with how much you have. It has to do with 
love. There's a woman who came from another uh, denomination to this denomination. She was selling fruits. This woman will carry a pool of 100 naira. I said, no, this woman lost me. She would say, sir, this is the only thing I have but take. I would look at her and say, ah. Less than 100 naira. But she, you see the love with which she wants to give to her pastor. But there are some who have everything to give the struggle. You know the problem? Judas never loved Jesus. Never. Read your Bible. Never lo- He loved the ministry of Jesus, but never loved Jesus. Because the ministry was paying him. But the man Jesus, he never loved. So when the day they gave Jesus a perfume, he said, why? This is a waste of money. Why will you give this to him? I've not seen people when they buy me something, they grumble. They say, why will you pass? In this church, they say, why will you pass? Use that kind of motto. For what? It's not because he's hungry. It's because he never loved me. I've never bought you something and someone around you say, hey, thank God you don't put me a car. The face change. The person never loved you. You know, their wives and husbands, who, if the opposite sex have a gift, the other person frowns. That's if the wife comes and says, Mosman, Mosman, they just increased my salary. The husband will just like this. And so? Is that all? He never loved you. He's not happy with your testimony. He married you. He only wants children, but you, the person, he doesn't love you. Yeah, women say, if not for my children, it means they never love their husband. Is it children? So from today, understand love. Well, number two, you must give to God's cause. You must give to what? God's cause. One of the proofs of love is that anything about God will move you. Anything about God will do what? You love to give to anything that has to do with the kingdom of God. Say here. I hear so. Glory to God. Give. Tell them about give. give. Say give. give. To everything that has to do with God. Do what? Give. Abraham loved, he gave. David loved, he gave. Solomon loved, he gave. God loved, he gave. So outside giving, that is a love. Abraham loved God. He gave his only son who? Isaac, Genesis 22, 1 to 18. David loved God. First Chronicles chapter 29, verse 3. Solomon loved God. First King 3, from 3 to 5, 12 to 13. If you also love God, what do you do? Give. So I hear. If you love God, number 3, you obey him. You do what? You'll obey him. Promptly. You obey him what? 1 John 14, 15, 21, 23. Number four, if you love God, you love his word. You love his word. Psalm 119, 47 to 48, 97, 103, 127 to 128, and 162. Nobody loves God who hates his word. Number five, you will love God's house. You love what? I was glad when he said to me, let me go to the house of the Lord. Psalm 84, 1 to 2, 4 and 10. Mm. Number six, you will love to serve him. You will love to serve him. You will do what? You will serve him. Joshua 24, verse 15. Daniel 6, verse 20. Number seven, you will love what God loves. You love what God what? You will love soul winning. You love soul winning. And the benefits are too many. Benefits of love. Love will make you enjoy unimaginable blessings. Unimaginable blessings. First Corinthians 2 9. It gives you unlimited access to revelation. John 14, verse 21. You are in command of the supernatural. You're in command of the supernatural. It makes you failure proof. First Corinthians 13 verse 8. You are indestructible when you walk in love. You're indestructible. Daniel 6, 19 to 23. You enjoy supernatural prosperity. You enjoy supernatural prosperity. John 4, 36. And then First Kings 3, 3 to 5 and verse 13. You enjoy supernatural liftings and breakthroughs above all. When you love God and man, you are sure of making heaven. 
First John 3, 14 to 15. Is it possible to love? Hmm? Is it possible? Me, I can't love that woman. I can't love that man. Is it possible? Let me say you something. Everybody has the seed of love. Give it expression. You don't pray to love. It's inside you. Now give it what? Expression. We don't love because the person is good. We love because God's word says so. Do you feel like eating before you eat? You know if you don't eat, what will happen? You will die. Can you say that? I don't feel like eating so for one week you will not eat. Do we eat because we feel like eating or we eat to stay healthy? We eat to stay healthy? Even if you don't feel like eating, you know you can't stay one week without eating. You will die. Through? Except you're fasting for a special thing. That is how you don't feel like loving, you love. In Romans chapter 5 and verse 5, shall we read together one to go? And hope maketh not a shame. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us, is already in you, you give it expression. Give it what? You are not going to pray for love, it's inside you. If you are born again. Now give love expression. Don't walk in the flesh. Be controlled by the word of God. To be carnally minded. I don't love because I feel like I love because I know that is the word of God. I have to love. I love. I, people who hate me, I love them. People I know don't like me, I love them. Mm. People who talk at my back, I still show them love. I have a deep insight on love. So go and get the revelation. And I tell you one thing, if somebody you love try to attack you, <laughs> the person will end up being destroyed. If you love somebody and the person goes back to attack you, the person will destroy himself. Because he's coming to attack God himself. Let me get you a deep insight I know. People tell me, why do you still love this man? When the man does not love you. Jesus loved Judas even when Judas was out to kill him. One thing with love is love is God. So when you show love to somebody and somebody gets up to fight you, he's fighting against God. So at that point, any attempt to attack you, he attacks God. And no man can attack. Look, I get it deep. Let me explain to you. Let me close with it. If somebody says he wants to kill you and you show him love, you are putting him in danger. Because that love is the nature of God. So when he gets up to fight you, God stands to say, you want to fight my nature. So he comes against God, not you. So when you get love, don't fight people physically. Fight them with love. At that point, you have put the man against God. You will step aside. Love your wife, even when she does not love you. If she tries anything, go kill her. Love your husband when he does not love you. Let him tell you to go kill him. Love your friend when he does not love you. Let him go to your back to attempt it. Go kill him. Love anybody who does not love you. It is the easiest way to disarm your enemies. It's the greatest of all weapons. The world is full of unrest. Money has failed. Human intellect is not working. You need Jesus. In him you will find peace and rest. Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Those who are not born again say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose from the dead to save me. Right now with my mouth, I declare you Lord over my life. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' name. Thank you for watching. To watch our live services, visit our website at www.snhos.org. If you want us to pray or counsel you, please call. You can also stay connected through any of these our social media accounts. 
This message is brought to you by Salvation Ministries, home of success.